Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and actually welcome to this year's Christmas special. So 2021 Christmas special. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing another, I know you guys have always wanted it, more, creating more solar systems, another Christmas coloured themed solar system. So obviously colours like red, green and white, they're the colours we're going to be focusing on this video. So without further ado, Let's get started. So obviously we can bring back some old objects from the previous few years of um, objects as well. Obviously we can add some new stuff in as well. So we've got a new, obviously this is a whole new version of the game since we last did this. So there's loads of new customization options. So what we're going to do first is we'll just go to blacked out uh, background and then onto our main star. So like I always do for these, I want our main star to be a white star. So who should we go with? Polaris? What about Polaris? White luminous suit. Polaris B? White main sequence star, yeah, why not? Polaris, so a nice white star, don't have to change any colours there. So Polaris, there's our white star. So the colour is snow, so that is that. Okay, on to a secondary star. Now I'm thinking two brown dwarfs, and I think you guys can really work out sort of where I'm going to go with this if you've seen these before. Where are our gasses up? Come on gasses, where are they? Here you go, so I'm going to go with a green gasser. Brown dwarf, we're going to have it pretty far out. We're going to have it around 70 AU from the star. And then we're also going to have a red one. So red gasser over here. As a further brown dwarf on the very outer edges of this system. So there you go. So if we just have a line up here of these guys. So they are brown dwarf stars. One of them is also very, very red. The other one is green. So yeah, nice sort of Christmas, uh, Christmas colours there. And actually what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to go with the other version of red actually. Because that one is just all the same colour. But I'm going to go with this... this uh, this one here, because you can actually see the gas giant bands and stuff. So, so that one is around 70 AU. So we're going to go with almost uh, uh, somewhere there. there. So there's gas are red. So play. There you go. Okay. So now if we actually have a look at them here, there you go. So we've got a red gas, a red gas brown dwarf, and then a green one. So looking good. Actually, can we make this thing a little larger? Because that should make it warm up a little more. Make it a little more red, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Can we see? We can we can change the colours of this, can't we? So, bands. I want to make them red. Just all out red. Does that, does that do any difference? Uh, yeah, so, how, how does this look? It's got, I mean, it's got to be red. So, there you are. We add some more bands to it, though. Does that do any... I don't think that really does anything, does it? So, there we are. But onto the green one. I mean, the green one is already perfection, if you ask me. I don't think anything needs to be changed here. We can add some more bands to it, make it look a more interesting though. We can actually add loads of bands to it actually, that make it look really, really cool actually. So, how about that? Just uh, just to spec it up a bit. But yeah, the red one, obviously it isn't as customizable as the green one. But there you are, so we've got a red a red one and a green one. So we've got, yeah, that's looking really, really cool actually. Uh, any other colours we could do? I mean, now, so we can't really do any of those, so yeah. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we've got a red brown dwarf and a green brown dwarf. So there you are, all the way out there. So the red one is obviously the more distant of the brown dwarfs. And then you've got the green one a little closer. So, cool. Brown dwarf, looking good. Okay, so onto Polaris itself. So, that brown dwarf's obviously far out, but planets. Now, I've got a bunch of new planet templates that I haven't actually been able to show you guys. Because I haven't actually made a simulation in a while. But we've got all of these here. And these are modified versions of a planet one of you guys submitted. But we've got some interesting ones. We've got a red one. Obviously, we have a green one. And there's also a white one we can sort of build as well. So we're going to go with the red one first. We're going to place it close to the star. Obviously, the star's a little more luminous than the sun if we look at its stats here. It is roughly three times as luminous as the sun. So obviously, 1 AU won't be... Uh, yeah, 1 AU will be way, very, very warm. So we're going to go 0 0.7. So this is roughly a Venus distance from the star. So here it is. So how are you doing? So this one, obviously, the red, these are the crazy cloud objects. There is a has a custom surface as well. I think Siren made this object, and yeah, very very cool. And I've been hoping to use one of these objects for quite a while. It has an atmosphere as well. Obviously, we can fade this out, so you can thick the atmosphere, fade it. So we'll have a bit of an atmosphere, but obviously the clouds are the main show of this object. So what do you think of that? I mean, they do look awesome. So there it is, and also the surface color as well. I have to see how that plays out. Has it got any water on it? It does. Okay. So, obviously, as this guy warms up, the, wall, the clouds will disappear. So, we need to get it to around 400 degrees for the clouds to return. So, look, look at the cloud. I mean, look how menacing that looks. I mean, put it to zero degrees. This should easily warm up. Uh, so, let's see here. 
Uh, atmosphere, where's atmosphere? So 480, and that should easily be enough to get it into the high temperatures. So, I mean, 170 foot. That should be warming up from that. Come on, game. Come on, give us some more temperature. Infrared all the way up. Albedo will lower you a bit. So that should hopefully get it nice and spiced up. So 100 is going to go any hotter. No, for, we have to make it closer to the star, really? An object like that should easily be hot enough at this distance. So that's a bit bizarre, but there we are. Uh, interface color. Where, where is the inter Okay, so orbits. There you go. So it's got a nice sort of red menacing color there. Uh, so we're going to lower this down. I want to be having temperature here. I want a lot of temperature. So 300 degrees. 300. Oh, so it's warming up. Perfect. Uh, can we remove all the water? Okay, so it keeps its clouds. Okay, that's in a good position. I don't need it to be any hotter. As long as its clouds show up, that's fine. So what do you guys think of that? That's our first object of this simulation. So looks very menacing. We could tidy lock it. And that could make a very, very interesting effect. So uh, let's try it. I'm going to tidy lock it. So where's the tidy lock? So voila. So the same face facing the star the whole time. So you can see the planet stopped rotating. It's just the clouds moving now. So this could have a very, very hot effect on that surface. So this should be very, very dangerous. And what we'll do is while we're here, we're going to save. And we'll just call it uh, Christmas 2021. So there you are. We're going to do lots, we're going to do this all in one episode as well. So I have no idea how long this video is going to be. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. And yeah, hit that like button. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes for this year's Christmas sim. Because this should be quite interesting. So here we are. But that, that looks so menacing, that red. I love it. It's such a cool effect. And yeah, it's cool that the crazy cloud objects are back in this version of the game. Because remember, we could, objects like this, they used to be around years ago. But there was, with changes to the game, they were lost. But now they're back. So it's good to see them back. So actually, we'll run the simulation for a bit. How hot is this guy going to go? I mean, uh, yeah, we need to obviously go a little faster in a few hours. So let's let it run for a few years. And we're going to see as that patch heats up where the same face is always facing the star. So we could just have hopefully a lava sort of effect on the surface. I mean, the hottest point, 500 degrees, still warming up. How high is it going to go? I mean, it should get some pretty high temperatures. Hopefully, the surface will melt. That's what I hope we can see here. So, 580 degrees. Oh, wowee. Uh, where is it? So, surface. Anything? Any, any any molten rock? I think there is. I think you can see it. Uh, atmosphere off. Clouds off. Yeah, it's glowing hot. It's definitely glowing hot. You can see the lava there. So, it's looking very, very nasty there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, that's good. That's exactly how we want it. So a very, very menacing, v almost like a Venus-like object. Obviously, the clouds aren't as crazy as Venus, but ho, 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 it does look awesome. Clouds, we got turbulent and storm. What if we go double storm? Or thick? How about thick and storm? So where's that storm? Oh, look at Oh, there's the storm. There's a thick cloud. Oh, look at that. That is an awesome-looking planet. Oh, it looks evil. It looks absolutely evil, that red but it's a Christmas theme, so it's fine. <laughs> hey, so there you go. Right, cool. So yeah, that's that's cool. So yeah, it's a cool looking world. Whenever it's Christmas colored theme. So we got reds. I think we've got to have another red object somewhere in that inner system as well. So what are we thinking? I'm still not convinced on that red gas or that red brown dwarf out there. I'm going to remove it for now. We'll come back to it later though. So I do want a red star as well. Green one is fine. But yeah, that is honestly one of the... That is such a cool-looking planet, if you ask me. It looks so awesome. So there we are. So moving further out, I'm actually going to use the green version of it. And we're going to go for an Earth-like world. Nice nice oceans, all of that jazz. So green zone, it's going to be around 1.7 AU from the star. So here it is. Obviously, we need to change its color theme to green instead of red. So we need to... Interface needs to go to green. There you go. Cool. Right, so here is the green version of it. So all the way down here. Oh god, the green does look so good as well. So what we also need to simply do here is temperature. It needs temperature. It needs to warm up. So where are we? So we need to have a bit more temperature going on here. Uh, albedo will lower you a bit. Just need, just need temperature again. Come on. I have to make you a little closer to the star then. Okay, that's fine. It's a little closer to the star. Just need a bit of temperature. Just need to be around 10 degrees game. Come on. Nope, still won't have it. Um, lower it a bit more. 1.4. I mean, surely that should hopefully give it some temperature now. Zero degrees. Still getting cold. Whoa. Really? Game. Come on. Behave yourself. All right. Let's add some water to it as well. I do want some more. Oh, there's the oceans. Oh, yeah. As you can see, they're slowly filling up underneath. We'll obviously customize that as well. So we will change that. 46 degrees. What the heck? What's that all about? 
Okay, let's just let it run. Where does it actually average out at? So let's see here. It can't be at 46, surely. It went from zero to crate. Oh, because it's warming up now. Okay, no, we can't have that. Okay, so we actually need to go a little further from the star. So we actually got too close. Let's go back to 1.6, something like that. Is, that. is that enough to keep it under control? We just need it above zero degrees, remember? So it just needs to be, okay. 40 degrees, 30 degrees. Where does it roughly sit? I, w I would, in theory, want it around 15 because we want it around that Earth sort of like area. So go back to 1.8, 1.9. Okay, zero degrees is going to warm up. Yep, yeah, okay, good. Uh, 15. It cools down. Okay, 10 degrees. Does it warm up? Yes, it does. Okay, so it sits in between that 10 and 15 area. Perfect. So we've got it roughly where we want him. Slow things down. Okay, so underneath the clouds, ocean, surface. What do we want to go with? Obviously, we need an Earth-like world. So if we look underneath, that's what we've got. So it's quite ocean-heavy. So it's a, it's a bit of a water world. Obviously, got a bit of land. So it's like a archipelago area. It's also got city lights, if you look there as well. So it's got, yeah, it's got a nice set of land, but obviously more ocean-heavy. Um, I will do it just a tad want a bit more land so something like that i think that's a fair share of both so cool right now colors surface so i think we can customize these yes we can high elevation obviously we can have some snow areas low elevation i think we'll have like a thick sort of foresty green 100 percent so look like a snowy forest like a snow sort of mix of snow i think the white's a little too much white that's too much green honestly hmm just got to find that nice mix of green and whites. What if, what's the low elevation? Okay, that's that's way, way, way too white then. Okay, so I want to have that sort of dark, sort of yeah, forest-like green, thick sort of spruce trees, sort of conifer-like trees. Something like that. Uh, high elevation is still white. Yep, good. City lights, uh, we need those in a different color. It's good. What about red lights? Red Christmas lights? Although they're not city lights, are they? No, that, that's just the blend of the colors. So city lights will go with white, I think. Nice, nice white. Yeah, that's looking good. So there you are. Now, oceans. <laughs> what about that? Oh, uh, atmosphere. No way. White oceans? Oh, see, we need to have it all fit in. So oh, that looks insane. Green? Maybe like a bluish green. Something like that. Oh, my God, that looks insane. Um, da, 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 underneath the clouds. Okay. Oh my god. Right. Yeah, that water's way too crazy. Right. So let's go to more of a natural sort of bluish shade. Maybe more of a pearly green. Actually, what if I realistic? So let's go back to realistic. Then okay. So if I just turn the realistic to a slightly more green effect, so a little more like that, maybe more of like a. Mm. It almost makes it look like a swamp world, almost like a swampy sort of design to it. I don't know, actually. It's a, it's, I mean, I think the generic sort of watercolour does look fine, honestly. I mean, it, eh, it's a hard one, actually. I don't know. I think it looks fine with blue, to be honest. I mean, it's still green is obviously the primary colour, so, I mean, that's fine. Atmosphere, I mean, that's got to go to... Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we need to lower the opacity down a bit. We'll have a, obviously a bit of atmosphere, but that gives it the sort of green haze, but, oh, that looks gorgeous. I think that looks gorgeous. Obviously, a bit of green going on. We have a white atmosphere. Just sort of blend the colours a little nicer. So, white atmosphere, green clouds, obviously a foresty green surface, and it's got blue oceans. That's good. And obviously, clouds. We can change the clouds. So, uh, clouds, no storm. I don't want the storm this time. Let's go with thick. Or fluffy. What about fluffy? Nice, uh, fluffy. Oh, a whole different feel to it compared to the first planet. So, yeah, a little more, uh, a little more simple. Thin clouds... Could do that. Uh, sparse clouds? Nah. Streaks? What if we do double streaks? How does that look? So it obviously thins out the clouds. Yeah, it ruins the effect, having it? It's got to be the thicker clouds. Something like that. Got to have the sort of strong sort of green. Oh, it looks so good like that. So we'll have thick and streaks together. But underneath, obviously, it has. you can see the surface underneath, so it is pretty cool. Uh, let's actually land on the surface and actually have a little look into the sky. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. So, yeah, yeah. Still good. I like it. Uh, let's check its stats out, actually. It should be in a very nice, comfortable area for stats. Uh, 95 and 17? Yeah, okay. Cool. Looking good. Yeah, I like it. So, there it is. So, we have a dangerous hot version. Now, we have an Earth-like version. So, there we are. 
But I do want to play around with the watercolours a lot on this because that's something we couldn't do in last year's Christmas special. So we definitely need to have a little play with that. How's our close planet doing though? Back to this one. How, how are we doing? I'm guessing it's still very glowing hot on the surface. Yep. And then the red clouds looking very, very menacing. Yep, that's fine. Cool. Right. So the star itself. So we've done a red planet. We've done a green. We've got to do a white one now. So we will, again, we will go back to... Where, where are they? So we'll go back to another version of this. Uh, we'll go with the we'll go with number one this time. I'm gonna place it obviously a lot further out. So it's gonna be a frozen world. So actually we could have it fairly fairly close to the green one actually. So maybe maybe, maybe somewhere there. Okay, so it's further out. Now clouds. So we can obviously change these to any color we want. Literally, any, even you can have black. Oh, they look really cool as well. Um, I haven't seen them in black before, but white clouds. Very, very... This is a world of snow. This is definitely going to be the world of snow and ice. So, uh, surface colours. I mean, it's got to be... It just has to be this, doesn't it? So, very, very snow-like. I mean, it can't be fully white because it's a custom texture. But, I mean... Oh, the snow is black. There you go. So, that's what you got. I mean, it's a yeah, snow pearl world. Uh, yeah. And it's got, like, the blue streets because that's the custom sort of surface. So, it's looking... Oh, this looks fantastic. Snow and ice. And then that's the water, isn't it? Those areas there. So... We could have like a light sort of bluish sort of uh, ice and icy water. So something like that. So a very, very sort of frozen sort of blue looking water. Let me think of that. Uh, we'll have a little more water as well. A little, little more. So there you are. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm liking it. Um, maybe a little, maybe a little less blue. I think is something we need to do here. Wet water. Yeah. Uh, just, a, just a tad more white. Something like that, yeah, fro like sort of frozen, almost almost frozen looking water. Maybe a little deeper blue as well. But there you go, what do you think of that? Frozen world, atmosphere is obviously red, can't be having that. It's got to be, it's got to be a different colour, so fit, make it thinner as well. Obviously, it, will go, it has to be a white atmosphere, doesn't it? Clouds are white, frozen snow-like world, what do you think of that? Obviously, clouds, I think it's got to be double thick for this one. Or oh, actually, no, double, what about double storm? Because it, like, snowstorm, storm, a very sort of turbulent atmosphere going on. So I'm thinking, it's got to be storm and storm. Double storm. It's looking very insane. Very, very thicky atmosphere going on. I mean, we can obviously thicken it up a bit as well. But no, it's got to be, I want, I want the surface to be visible. So it's got to be like that. And then we can have a colony on here. We can have some sort of life. So city lights will have white city lights. Oh, look how cool it looks. That is such a cool looking one. So, zero degrees. I mean, it doesn't really matter how cold it is. So, we'll leave it the way it is. I'm, I'm very happy with the way that's turned out. So, very, very ice cold. Very reflective as well. High albedo, obviously, with the reflective clouds. So, we'll leave it the way it is. Very, very pleased with that. So, that's looking good. So, we've got three planets with these sort of unique, very bright clouds. So, if we compare them all together, let's have a peek. Look at what we've got. So, yes. Right. Here we go. Hello. Right. So, they're all the same size as well. And I don't... I want that to be different. So... The largest one will have as the red hot. So we're going to double it. We're going to double it up. Bigger planet. So double red. Um, and then the white one. Can have it, I think we'll have a little larger than the green one. Something like that. So the frozen world and the earth like world is the smaller of them. Something like that. Just to, just to have a bit of variety. So there you are. That's looking cool. But there, there's a comparison. It's got all nice Christmas colours. Obviously next to the green gas giant as well. Oh yeah. Cool. Right, so there we go. So we've got a nice sort of inner solar system built, but also we need to have some more planets in there. I think we definitely need something in between the, the the red and the green one. So what can we go with next? Now, what what we what are we thinking? Hmm, I'm thinking some sort of oxidated water, like a red water world. So I'm thinking to think Kepler twenty two b. I'm gonna place you somewhere here, somewhere there. Maybe in a more sort of interesting orbit. So something like that. So Kepler 22b, so this will obviously be really, really hot here. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a high albedo, and I want, like, red sort of oceans with maybe a white atmosphere. So white atmosphere, ocean colour, I want you as, like, a, a sort of reddish shade. Reddish shade of oceans. Uh, cloud colour, can't even see any clouds at the moment. Atmosphere thickness, obviously. Okay, so I'll leave that the way it is. So temperature-wise, what is zero degrees? Okay. So why is there no clouds showing up? I want some clouds. Clouds, yes. We pull it to, I don't know, 20 degrees. Does that give us any clouds? Why is there no clouds? Give us some clouds. Atmosphere. 
Oh, I see, I see lava. What's that? <laughs> oh, 400 degrees. That's why there's no clouds. Yeah, we've got to do something about that. Reflectiveness. It's going to be a high albedo here. Oh, the albedo's on zero. No wonder it's like that. Okay. Rotational period, 24 hours. Okay. So let it just sort itself out. Get rid of that lava. We need some clouds back. Come on, give us some clouds. So it's an all red ocean world. Come on, that should surely... What's its temperature now? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so rotational period... 10, it's a little faster. Let's go to 15 hours. Let it rotate a little faster. So that should hopefully give us some clouds. Come on. Is there some clouds? I still can't see any clouds. The oceans look like they're frozen now, which is fine. Oh, no, that's obviously the ocean. We have the atmosphere off anyway, so... Oh, I want some clouds. Damn it, give me some clouds. Uh, rotational? Some clouds? Eh, interesting. So there's really no... Oops. Hmm, interesting. Oh, can we turn the opacity? Oh, oh, you didn't know you could do that for the clouds as well. That's quite cool. Reset the default clouds. Why not? Intr I don't know why there's no clouds then. That's, that's very bizarre. I mean, it's cooling down, so I mean, it should... What if I just remove the water briefly? Is that spawn our clouds in? So that's what it looks like underneath. Why is there no clouds? So there's the oceans back again. I want clouds, damn it. Give me some clouds. So it's annoying why it's so high in temperature. If I put it to minus 200, that'll hopefully uh, spice it up a bit. So how are we doing now? Just let it run for a bit. Give me some clouds, game. Come on. So how are we doing Earth's surface? So that should easily be... Okay, so that's nice and cold now. Okay, good. Right, so now what we need to simply do is give it less albedo. Let it warm up a bit, so... Cool. Where are we? So... Uh, da -da -da -da. Where is the... Oh, and I'm on the wrong option. I wonder I can't find it. There we go. So let's let it warm up a bit. I want to keep an eye on this. We don't want anything going above, sort of. Yeah, somewhere around there, maybe. That's still way too hot. You've got to be careful with these sort of... Uh, try and keep it in a nice sort of area. 60 degrees is a hot zone. Uh, I mean, it doesn't need to be hatable. I just want a red ocean world, so... Okay, something like that, I'm thinking. Okay, let's uh, let it calm down. Let's see what we got, so... Okay, it's just got some polar caps as well. So that's looking... Yeah, all right. Clouds. And there's still no clouds. Yeah, I think it may be a little bugged, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. So it's got like a opaque atmosphere. You can see down, there's not many clouds. There's no clouds at all. Red ocean, got a bit of polar caps going on as well. Frozen water. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, that works. I can run with that. So interface, I'll see a pale red. Something like that. Cool. So we've got a modified Kepler 22B. A whole different planet there. So that's cool. Cool. Okay, what have we got next in the toy box? Let's see what we got. So definitely got to have some gas giants. 100%. And I think we've got to return to the Christmas ones that we've had for a few years. So banded five. First of the gas giants. So there's the brown dwarf. So what are we thinking here? Like, why can't I see the orbits? I want to see the orbits. Um, labels on? Do I need labels on? Okay, perfect. Okay, so the first of the gas giants, banded five. We're going to place it somewhere there, I think. So banded five. Then there's also other Christmas ones. Um, da -da -da. So banded five is definitely one. There's definitely a few more. Where are they? They should be here somewhere, so I definitely never deleted them. Where is it? There should be... There was definitely like a dark green one somewhere. I'm trying to find that one. It was like green and red. Maybe it's not. Maybe I didn't name it Banded. It must be just buried in here somewhere, I'm guessing. Ah, ah, okay. So here's some more. So remember that from the objects from the Christmas competition last year. That feels so long ago. We've got to have those in here as well. well definitely. We'll have, a, we'll have a Christmas gas. So this is a Christmas gas dwarf. So we're going to have the gas dwarf. Oh, we could have it close. Go a bit further. Somewhere there, maybe, closer to Kepler-22, Gas Dwarf. Yeah, I'm going to place it there, in the Gas Dwarf. That's cool. Okay. I definitely had some more, though. I'm just trying to work out where they are. There was definitely a green, a nice dark green and red one. I'm trying to remember where it is. I definitely, surely I didn't get rid of it. That's very, that's disappointing if I did get rid of it, I have to say. I mean, I don't know why I would get rid of it, so it should be here somewhere, unless I'm completely blind. I don't see it. 
I know that one was definitely a Christmas one, but I don't know where the other ones are. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Huh. Oh, man. Okay, I've got another, this red one as well. I'm going to spawn this somewhere. It's going to be one of all the outer gas giants over there. Uh, what else have we got? Da -da -da. Another, they've still got the gases we need to sort out as well. Yeah, I have no idea where that gas giant's gone, unfortunately. That's annoying. Christmas Deluxe, that's got to be in here. 100% got to be in here. So we're going to have that somewhat, somewhat of out here as well. Because they're cool. We do like the deluxe ones. Yeah, it's annoying. I think I've lost uh, one of the old Christmas gas giants. I can recreate it, though. So I can modify one of this one. For this, for instance, this object here, I can actually modify one of the gas giants I already have and turn it into a Christmas one. So, oh, no, there it is. I found it. Yeah, that's it. It's that one. Perfect. Okay, I don't need to do that. Never mind. So we're going to place that there. Cool. Okay, so this is what we got now. So if we line them up, we'll, or we'll go through them all individually. So the first one, uh, Banded Gas Dwarf, which is this one here. So Christmas Gas Dwarf. It's only 3.11 Earths in size. Obviously quite small. There it is. Looking gorgeous. Can't remember who made these, though. But, yeah, they, these are from a whole year ago now in the Christmas competitions. So there it is. So Gas Dwarf. Looking good. Uh, then there's the White Snow Planet. Then the first gas giant after that is this one. So Banded 5. So we're going to make this out. I think this will be the dominant gas giant. As we like to call it. So, dominant gas giant. It's going to be 1.6 Jupiters. So, there it is. And it's looking fabulous. That's a good looking one. And, yeah, this was made. I think this was all the way back from 2019, I think. Maybe before that. I mean, they are quite... This is quite an old one. So, cool. And then, uh, interface. It's got to be nice green, I think. Uh, Banded 22. Next gas giant out. This is the dark green and red one I was talking about. So, there it is there. Nice looking one. So this isn't as large. Uh, 0.2 Jupiters. Yeah, we're going to sit around there. Uh, interface color. Got a nice sort of red, I think. Nice. Banded 22. Next one out. Christmas Deluxe. Obviously a very, very notable one. And this is one I actually designed, actually. It's tilted on its side like Uranus. Exactly how I want it. Perfect. Tilted on its side. What do you think of that? Such a cool looking planet, all the different colours in there. I mean, band wise, I mean, it's always cool looking at the bands that these ones have. Uh, if we go to the bands, there you go. It does look awesome. So there you are. And yeah, tilt on its side like a Uranus's. So cool. Uh, how fast is it? I kind of want it to turn faster though. How, how fast does it turn? Orbital period is 100 years, so it's actually a longer orbit than Uranus actually. Uh, orbital period, rotational period, four months? Get out! I want, I want like 10 hours. I want to be a fast rotator. Yeah, there you go. That's a little cool. That's a quick rotating world. Cool. Next blast. Uh, next gas giant outbanded 28 here. What's going on over here? So this is a darker, sort of deeper red one. And this is maybe like a red ice giant almost. A lot smaller. Yeah, we're not having it that large in mass. No way. This is going to be a lot smaller than that. So, yeah, more of an ice giant like world on the outside. This is almost like a Neptune equivalent. Like a far out sort of gas giant there and then lastly the gas giant the green gas is out there as well that's the furthest object in here but i think what's well, make things a little more interesting we'll have an eccentric orbit for you so we're gonna have a bit more interest just make it a little more interesting something like that maybe that's a little too much to my liking but we could do that i guess yeah maybe just a little less eccentric but i want to yeah something like that and uh, then um color's got to be emerald green something like that Sort of an emeraldy sort of uh, green. There you go. What do you think of that? Yeah. All right. And then uh, just to make things more interesting, so Christmas Deluxe now. So this is Uranus. This is like the equivalent of Uranus. So eccentric or inclined. Uh, yeah. Banded twenty eight. It's also slightly inclined as well. But we'll have a slight use, slight eccentricity here as well. So. Uh, Come on, a little more than that. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to lower the orbital period. So it sneaks back in that area. And then maybe just a little less eccentric. Actually, just uh, lower it down a bit. Something like that. Yeah. Definitely like something like that, I think. And then we can also turn it round. So I'm going to have it uh, da -da -da, somewhere like that. Yes. That's cool. Okay. I'm liking it. And then I'm thinking... We've got to, I think we've got to scatter some more rocky planets. We've got our sort of main rocky planets in the center there. So we've obviously got the horrific red uh, clouds. We've got our Kepler-22B sort of like red like red water sort of world. 
bit frozen up. We've got Christmas gas dwarf, the inner of the gas objects. We've got our Earth light world here. Then we have our frozen world. Looking good. Okay, so I'm liking that. That's cool. Now back onto some more Christmas colors. So if we just have a line up for all the objects here. So what color are we missing? So we have two two planets that are green, which is Christmas and then the Rocky. We've got a good amount of reds. We only have one white, so I think we need another white and another green somewhere. So, let's do it. Now, I want to try and bring back Hyper, which is a, one of the really old planet at this point, actually. So, I want to try and sneak this in. So, how far away do we want to go? I mean, eh. Maybe, close, maybe something close to Banded Fire. Maybe inner, so outer, inner outer solar system. Somewhere there. I don't want it having any effect with that. So, I'm going to go there. So, let's see. Oh, what's happened here? Oh. Oh, no. What's happened? My man. Oh, dear. Uh, zero degrees. Let's cool you down. Oh. Oh, it's lost its effect. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, that's useless then. It's lost its cool effect it used to have. It's not a gas giant anymore. It used to have a gas giant. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Okay, never mind. Maybe that object's finally not usable anymore. That's what it used to look like. You can see in the picture there. That's annoying. Right. Yeah, I definitely want... A, it's not going to be more rocky plants. I think we've got enough gas giants now. So, rockies. It's got to be rockies. Actually, going back to the Christmas competition, actually, that could be quite a good area to have a look into. So, I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to go this object here. This was always a cool looking one. So, I'm going to place that there. I don't know how intact these are going to be either. So, we'll have to just sort of sp spray and pray, I guess, and just sort of see how they're going to work, so maybe some sort of rocky planets on the outer skirts of the system as well, so I'm just going to place them all around it, because some of them probably don't even need customising actually, so I'm just going to just toss a few of them around and just sort of see how they end up, so maybe an outer sort of rocky planet there as well Christmas Sea, oh there's another Christmas Gas Dwarf we're going to have that on the very outer reaches of the system over there okay, so I think we've got all of the rockies in yeah, okay, I think we've got all of the rocky plants. And I also want to go back to an, one of our old favourites. Now, we're just trying to find it. Where is it? Whereabouts is it? Um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, what's it now? What's it called? And there's so many objects to sort for them. It's quite hard to try and work out where I'm looking. Um, I Surely I haven't deleted that one. That's one of the, Fermia, that's it. I want to use Fermia. We've got to have Fermia somewhere. I love Fermia. It's one of the coolest, coolest planets ever. Yeah, in these videos, so I'm thinking this one's got to have it. We always give Fermi a sign really crazy, so we're gonna have Fermi here. Oh god! Oh my man, what's happened to you? Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna cool you down, my friend. Zero degrees. Oh god, what's happened to you? I hope it still works. Where are your clouds? Give me your clouds back. That's what makes this planet unique. Look at all those weird markings it's got as well. What's that all about? I want your clouds. Give me your clouds back. Clouds. 20 degrees. Oh my god, what is going on here? What is that all about? Why is it glowing? Surely if we just run it a bit, that will uh, return it to its how it should be. Is it going to work? Oh, please say this object isn't broken. No way. It's one of our old favourites. Surely not. 500 degrees. Oh my god, okay, this thing is definitely broken. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, man. I guess in the modern version of the game has upset this one because we haven't used it for quite a while. Ah, that's annoying. Okay, so what have we got next? We've got an Earth over here. A green version of Earth. I remember this. Oh, yeah, this is cool. So Christmas Earth. <laughs> I'm not chilling out here. So frozen sort of Earth. Okay, that thing does look crazy. Christmas Caster Wharf. Obviously, no customization needed there. That's already pre-built for us. Atmosphere's looking a little thick, though. Can we have a little play with that? Uh, yeah, there we go. So we just, we'll just uh, make the atmosphere a little less thick so you can actually see the clouds underneath. So, Gas Dwarf, cool. Christmas here. Obviously, we've already done that. Oh, no, we haven't looked at this one, actually. Never mind. So, what we got here? So, this will be a frozen, rocky planet. You can see it's uh, pretty cold here. It doesn't rotate. Why is it not rotating? Three galactic years. No way. 21 hours. There you go. Okay. It's already got everything pretty built for us. Uh, cloud colour, I'm going to have a little adjustment to white clouds. It's obviously a little dim out here, so it's going to get a little cold. But I'm going to leave it the way it is. I think it's fine. Uh, atmosphere, maybe it's a little brighter on the green department. 
Yeah, why not? Okay, so I'm going to leave that away. I mean, I'm, I, these were all built for a competition. I don't want to alter them too much, so that's fine. Um, okay, so what what was that? I did spawn some more in here, didn't I? What's this one? So this was another one of the Christmas ones. This is a nice blue, uh, a blue one, actually. So, okay, but I think, yeah, atmosphere needs to change. Red atmosphere with water? Yeah, yeah, I'll dig that. Uh, green lights. And it's got a weird rotation as well, so, yeah. yeah. I'm happy with that. So just a few few customizations. Obviously, if anyone wants to claim these objects, let us know. Did you make it? Let us know if the creators are still around watching. Uh, it'd be nice to see uh, see some of the creators of these objects uh, show themselves, so. Cool. Or if any, I mean, a lot of these objects you guys would have made um, back in the day as well. So, yeah, if you any if you remember these objects, let us know in the comments. Nasta, how you doing? That's a really nice red and white. There, I'm not, don't, no, I'm not changing anything on that. I mean, maybe we could have an atmosphere. It already has a white atmosphere. Maybe we thicken it up a bit. Yeah, like a snow sort of world. Yeah, why not? So, yeah, nice little modification there. Any other worlds that we need to modify? I think we're all right, honestly. I think we've done pretty much them all. I mean, well, what's happened with Kepler 22? Temperature, not a number. What? Zero degrees. We always broken. Oh, man. Not a number. What has happened to you, Kepler? That's fine. It works. It's fine. We'll leave it alone. <laughs> right. Christmas gas orb, one of the outer objects. I'm going to extend gas's orbit just a little more. I don't want it getting too close to that. So. Uh, da, da, da. Yep. So just a tad further. And then maybe a tiny bit more eccentric. Just a. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. And then I think we just need. The red gas door. So red, red, uh, could go over red dwarf. Yeah, let's have a red dwarf. We've got a brown dwarf. Let's have a red dwarf. A very red dwarf as well. So, uh, the stars, anything we can use? Let's use the smallest star. So EB there, when one of the, or one of the, I don't know if it's the smallest anymore, but yeah, one of the smallest stars. We're going to place it a little further than our brown dwarf friend over here. Place it there. Red dwarf, obviously very, very dim. And obviously color wise, it's got to be. Oh, yeah, let's go. Red. Christmassy red. Yeah, it's looking good. And then um, da -da -da, down here. Eccentric. Go oh, very. Oh, yeah, sign like that. Yes. And then. Um, da -da -da. Uh, where are we? Yes. So, a pretty insane orbit. But I like it. Sign like that. So very, very distant red dwarf on the edges of the system, all the way at the top there. Maybe just a little... Yeah, something like that. Yes. Just something way out there. Maybe we could half the orbit a bit. Something like that. Yeah, I, I dig it. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then, um... Yeah. I don't see anything. Maybe just a little lower... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig with that. I think that's fine. So if we look in the... Uh, or look from a... Sort of turn everything off. So you've got three stars. White, red, and green. Looking good. And I think the red dwarf... We'll give it a, We'll give it like one or two planets. Just to just make it a little more interesting. And we could probably give the brown dwarf one as well. That's cool. So as you get closer, it sort of changes colour. Which is really cool with the new uh, stuff in this update. So that's cool. But yeah, we'll have one or, maybe one or two planets around it. So... What are we thinking? What are we thinking? LP... No, LP12 is the one I'm thinking of. Not the... Whatever, what... Fermi. No, LP12. Let's see if... Oh, let's see if our sweet LP12 works. You know, this is one of our favourites. This one is... Or one of my personal favourites. I know we, we use it in a lot of videos. Is it... Does it still work? Come on. Yes, it still works in one way or another. Okay, right. What has happened? Oh, uh, yes, it works. Okay. Turn that off. Atmosphere. Obviously, we can change this to any colour... Go over full. F oh no! It ruined the cut funky atmosphere. We got to keep it that color, have we? Are we? Oy, oy. Hmm. City lights. Can we? So they're tinted. Oh, oh yes. And obviously we don't need the earth ones. So uh, I want a nice patch of light. So yeah, something like that. So now we just need to get a nice sort of shade of green. It's got to be green. I definitely want to go green on this. So I think lime green is the best we can really do. Clouds. Red. So it's still not the most friendly looking of worlds, but it never has been this one. It's always, it's never really 
been designed, and I've never really designed it as a world that's going to be hattable. Now, I'm going to go with red. I think it needs to still be a monstrous world in a way. But I do want to try and sort of see if we can make that out. So I want to try and spawn it in again, but I don't want... I want to keep the atmosphere on it. I want to sort of have its unique atmosphere. No, otherwise, it loses its sort of magic, so... It's pink. Pink is a sort of... Sh it's a shade of red, maybe. Yeah. It will work. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Cloud. Oh, we can change the clouds, can't we? Ah. It's got to be red. Red clouds. That atmosphere, what we can do is we can't change the colour of it, but we should be able to do that. So we can thin it out a bit so it looks more red. So we don't have to have it being crazy, crazy like that. So I'll have it like that. So that, that, that works, yeah. Uh, cloud colour. Uh, thick. I want thick. Double thick. What colour? I mean, white clouds do actually look really, really neat. But I do want it's got to be, it's got to be red, hasn't it? I mean, yeah, green doesn't. It's got to be, definitely got to be red. Uh, and then the down here, city lights. I mean, they need to be back to the normal ones. Nice patch of the, oh, it's a very nice patch of lights there. I'm gonna go all the way to red. Nice deep red lights. The snow, none of that. Water. What colour is the water? Oh, oh, it looks so cool with the water like that. I mean, it doesn't matter what colour. I mean, the water, we can't really change the colour of the water because it's tinted, this object, so. Red water. Oh, oh, it does look menacing. It always does. We always find a way to make it look menacing, and it definitely does here. I'm liking it. Interface, I mean, it's got to be like a hot pink, hasn't it? Something like that. LP12 returns yet again in another episode. I mean... I think we can just about get away with that as uh, Christmas colours. It's got the red. Yeah, I think I think we're okay. I think we can get away with that. Um, I mean, just going back to the clouds, though, we can't change the atmosphere. Can we change the thickness of the clouds? Oh, we can. Opacity of the clouds, max. Thickness, max. Colour of the clouds. No, it can't be white. It has to be green. It doesn't go. Green just does not go. Actually, you know what? I think we can make that work, actually. It's got to be nice sort of green, though, isn't it? Atmosphere, what we can do, just make the atmosphere weaker. It's just make... So the clouds show up a little more. Just make the atmosphere very sort of thin. That does look, re it look really cool like that, actually. But we're going to go 0 0.1. The thinnest that we can go. And then just very, very slowly times it up. Uh, yeah. So I, I just want it very, very thin. I do not want a big atmosphere at all. So just keep... Yeah, something like that. I think that I think that is what we need. And then uh, water. We could try green. I mean, we gave it a green. Because white won't work because it will just make it yellow. Yeah, I'm going to go green. I think that looks cool. And then city lights. It's either yellow or red, isn't it? I mean, you can't really do any other colour with this. We could have lime green, I guess. I mean, is that, is that close enough? I think it's got to be still red. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. So it's a very, very customised version of LP12. But I think we can just about get away as Christmassy with it. I mean, how does it blend in with the other... Does it fit in? I think it fits in with those. It looks at that. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we can roll with that. So LP12 returns. Right, and then one more object around this guy. Um, and we'll go with... I think we'll go with a gassy, actually. Can't be anything large, but... Gassy. Um, gas Dwarf. Tempting. Let's use one of the other Christmas gas giants. Let's spawn a limb. That's obviously too large in mass. So we need to customise its mass. Um, yeah, 48. Yes, yeah, so that's got to go. Uh, all the way down. So this was a brown dwarf originally, but not anymore. So we'll make it fairly small. I mean, I don't want it being... 14 Earths. Yep, it's like Planet Nine. Roughly Planet Nine. Uh, water. Let's get rid of them. Bit, give it a bit of an iron core as well. Don't know why it's smoking up. Why is that? Is it is it too small? Or... Put, uh... Can we put calculated radius on? Where's the calculated radius button? Oh, it's because there's a lock on it. Can we unlock it? Oh, we just need to make it a little more massive. I think that's probably all we need to do. Okay, so Christmas brown dwarf. I mean, that orbit, we should be able to just... Uh... Ooh, to orbit, right? That should keep it... Keep it happy. Yeah, all right. So, we'll see more distant than LP12 is, but it's sitting in there. 
So it is very, very dim here, but there you go. Gas giant, LP12 around the Red Dwarf over here. It's in the very outer reaches of this system. The furthest point out. I mean, obviously, if you look at the other star all the way down there, I mean, they're miles or out. So there you go. And then lastly, Brown Dwarf over here. So this is the last subject we need to add to today. So I'm thinking maybe one or two as well for this. So I right, know let's go over desert. We're going to modify one of these deserts and make it a cold desert. So we're going to place desert there. So one desert. Is it sp yeah, spawned in? Okay. And then lastly, we'll go have another rocky, I think. What's it going to be? Who are we going to go with? Oh, this is a hard choice. I don't know who to go with. There's so many planets to choose from. I'm going to go with just something... Ah, I know what to go with. Glowing. Br or the bright ones. I'm going to go bright free. I'm hoping this is going to work. So I'm going to place that there. Okay. Right. Labels on so we can actually see them. Where are they? Hey. Right. Desert planet. Okay, cool. All the way down here. So it's already looking fairly sort of snow-like anyway, but what we're going to do is obviously we need to give it an interface so we can actually see where it is. Ah, there you go. That's why we couldn't see it. Okay. So desert planet. It's very dark here. Obviously because this doesn't emit light. That doesn't emit light. So we can't actually see it. So in theory, all this is going to have to be ultra frozen. There's no other... It has to be frozen. There's no light. There's no temperature here. It has to be a frozen world. So yeah, it's going to be a very... It's like a white version of titan in the darkness very very thick atmosphere as well on top of it job done that it's a very very cold desert obviously it doesn't get any light so there's not much we can do about that unfortunately so that orbits the brown dwarf and then the second one out here bright free has the reflective clouds but i don't think they're going to help in this sort of circumstance so unfortunately it's not going to work and yeah that that, that breaks it anyway so i'm going to scrap that actually so i think this is just going to have one lone lonely planet in orbit of the brown dwarf I think I'm going to go with that. So that's Desert Planet. Cold Desert. And that is our Christmas system. So that is the 2021 Christmas system. And lastly, background. I think it's got to be green and red, hasn't it? So... Uh, red. Something like that. Yeah. And then lastly, the green. We're going to dim the green. Make it more green as well. And uh, something like that. So a nice sort of Christmassy, Christmas tree green. Uh, a little more, something like that. How does that look? I don't want it being too sort of invasive, but yeah, red and greens. Yeah, I'm liking it. And a little higher. Actually, we can turn up the ambient brightness just a tad, actually, because that will hopefully help this guy out a tad bit, actually. So if we go over here, and hopefully that ambient brightness will like it light up a bit, maybe? All the way up? Yeah, so the ambient brightness does light it up just a tad, but not really much. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, maybe, maybe if we do this. Nah, it doesn't really do anything. Okay, that's fine. So we've got the green. And then there's a red, just a little brighter on the red. And there you go. And stars are already up. I mean, I don't think I'm really going to change any of the brightness or contrast stuff, so... Well, the contrast actually gives a bit of a white effect as well. So we can have red, white, and green. So all three sort of colours there. We just need to sort of make it work, so... So that's too much. Saturation, maybe? Very red and very green. No, I'm not digging it. I don't like it. I think the contrast will leave alone, to be honest. To keep that at zero, roughly just one. That's where it was originally, and brightness. That's a little too crazy for my liking. Just going to dim that down a bit. Rotate it a bit as well. Why not? And there you go. Right, that's enough fiddling around with it. There is my Christmas solar system, guys. So what do you think of that? So press play. There's it all running. So to go over everything again. So we have Polaris in the middle. First planet out is this one. So the Inexus 3. So this is that super, super hot looking world. Looking very, very nasty indeed. Second planet out, Kepler 22b. The red ocean world. The polar caps have melted by the looks of it. Then next up, we've got Christmas Gas Dwarf. So it is what it is, Christmas Gas Dwarf. Then we have our Earth-like world. So there is a lovely green, absolutely beautiful world there. We've got the Christmas sort of tree colour underneath it on the surface. Then we've got Nusta over here, next planet out. So this is that nice frozen world with a red and white surface. Then we've got Banded 5, dominant gas giant in this system. Looking good. Then we've got this one. That's that red and white one as well there. Banded 22. 
So that's our second gas giant. Then we take a bit of a jump to uh, Christmas Alux, which is tilted on its side like Uranus. Then we have the Christmas Earth over here. Oh, that wasn't the Christmas Earth. Yeah, that was the green one. Uh, Earth, there it is. This is the Christmas Earth with the green uh, city lights on it. Then we have Banded 28. So that's our Neptune equivalent. We have Christmas Gas Dwarf out here. It's the furthest of the planets around the star. Then we go onto the Brown Dwarf over here. So obviously this only has one planet orbiting it as we just did. So all the way over here. Then it's got our one sort of frozen Titan-like world. Desert, frozen desert orbiting it. And then lastly, smallest star. Red Dwarf with LP12 Christmas Edition orbiting it. And Christmas Brown Dwarf. Which isn't a Brown Dwarf anymore because we lowered its mass. So... There you are, guys. What do you think of that? What do you think of that Christmas system? All done in one episode as well. So obviously Christmas is, or it'll be Boxing Day this time next week as I'm filming this video. So yeah, really, really hope you guys enjoy it. I'll probably This will probably be up on Christmas Eve, actually. So I'll probably have this up on Friday. I'm filming this on Sunday, the Sunday before uh, the 19th. So yeah, I'll probably have to put this up on Christmas Eve just thinking about it. But yeah, there you are. So what do you guys think of that? I really, really hope you enjoyed this. And yeah, guys, obviously this will be on Christmas Eve. So Hope you guys all have a great Christmas tomorrow. And yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you have a great day. I will post this. If you guys want, I'll post this simulation in the Discord if you want to have a copy of it. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments or on my Discord. Just message me on Discord. Tag me, ping me, whatever, if you want a copy of this. And yeah, if all that said and done before, we actually so we actually know we have a copy of it, we're going to refresh it and save it. Cool. So there we go. So simulation is saved. And yeah, that all said and done, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed it. This was a lot of fun to make. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Let's even go for 50 likes on save video, guys. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 23,000 subscribers. And Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.